greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a demonstration of a way for uh, math teachers, uh, chemistry teachers, physics teachers, whoever, if you have a tablet PC, uh, which are fairly cheap now, you can demonstrate your um, the solutions of math problems over and over again uh, through the wonders and power of video. I'm going to do a simple demonstration here of uh, solving for probability. Um, probability. We're going to, uh, this is a pretty elementary task, but uh, we all need to do it from time to time. And if you're in California, you need to do it um, for your uh, elementary and middle school students. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the probability of drawing a heart from a deck of um, 52 cards. Now, we're also going to uh, see if we can draw a heart from the same deck of cards after we've drawn a heart, or after we've drawn from the first card, see if the, what's the likelihood of drawing a second heart. from the same deck. Now, create, there's our there's statement of our problem. So the uh, probability of A, remember A, A is the pro probability of drawing a heart from a deck of 52 cards. So probability A equals 13 over 52 because they're uh, in a suit. There are 13 cards. 13. There are 52 total cards in the deck. So um, if we break that down, 13 goes into 52 one fourth or one quarter time. So. <clears throat> The uh, chance of drawing a heart on the first on the first draw is one in one in four. Now the probability of drawing a heart again, the odds change a little bit because we've removed one card, so now we are at 12 over 51, and we know just from looking at it that this number here is divisible by three. How do we know that? Well, 5 plus 1 equals 6, and 6 is divide, divisible by 3. So we know that um, this number here, 51, is also divisible by 3. And because it has 1 at the end, I'm going to take a guess it's divisible by 17. The 12 is divisible, obviously, by 3, so it's 4 over 17, which would mean that the probability... Um, of being able to draw two, um, the uh, probability of being able to draw two hearts, one right after the other, is pretty simple. So what we'll do is we'll uh, take that and we're going to add up the probability of A and B, and that would be one fourth times rather, 4 over 17. Now remember, that's where we got that. Here's probability A. Here's probability B. So we take those two probabilities and multiply them. And through the magic of uh, multiplication, we see that we can cancel the 4 and the 4 on both sides. So we have a chance of 1 in 17th 1 in 17 of drawing a heart, two hearts consecutively. Thanks for watching, and um, happy computing.